Hi. So here is how my workflow pretty much look like. I use Bridge where I have all my pictures and Photoshop to edit them. Uh, I have all my pictures sorted by JPEGs, PDFs and RAW and after year and month. So I have chosen this picture. I think it's kind of fun but not that good but we will try to see what we can do with it. So I open it in Photoshop and I get this raw tool and I I have adjusted it so it's it's fine in the highlight and it's fine in the dark so I open the image and the first thing I always do is to look at the levels and this could use a little more light and open a little more in the dark uh, but is oh it burns out in the, so that's how we will keep it and I take curves give it a little just a little and open it a little here it's okay for that I make a I duplicate the layer. I use a lot of layers because then I can always go back to the layer before if I do anything I regret. And I'm a little nervous now so. Uh, I can make a lot of mistakes. Uh, then I take filters to sharpen up the pictures a little. I use unsharp mask and I never use more than uh, like this preset 180 in amount and a radius on 3 because if if you use too much you get halos around the corners uh, the edges and it don't look good and this is taken with the 5D. If I have taken it with 7D that has smaller files, I have only you I would only use 150 and two in amount. But this is a 5D so I can use three. It was faster to write. Uh, and uh, it, it, it was faster to write. Uh, okay. And now we have done it a little sharper and then get gotten a little more. Uh, dynamic in it. Then we uh, make it bigger because we want to use the spot tool to take all these disturbing little spots 
background. Not all of them, because you expect some something floating around in mm, murky waters, but some of the the spots who disturb the picture the most. That's about it, I think. Yeah. <coughs> then I make one more layer. Okay. And this part here, I want to lighten up, give a little more exposure, not this part, because if, we, if I took the whole picture, I would get it all blown out in these spots here, in the highlights, so I only will choose this part, and I will use my brush selection tool, and like that, and I will distract this little here and the part is the that is over the water okay like this and I will expose that a little more Let's see now but I have to be careful about this. So fifty is as far as I can go. Okay with that. But I still have this part I think is too dark, so I will take my touch tool and I will make it a big one and it's five here and it's set it to shadows and we will try to lighten this up a little computer working Hard. Okay. It's really slow. Come on. See? Now we had have a little more of the claws and we like those they help help giving the picture give the picture a little drama so go down a bit I make a new layer okay and then we make it No, four hundred. Yeah. Let me get a mid tone. And we say a little. Oh, too small.
when you edit in Photoshop there's a lot lots, lots of ways to do it and there's probably some who think he could have done that on another way in another way I know but we all have our, our habits so this is just how I do it <laughs> and then we take the highlight and we give this part a little more the shining armor it this is the same way the old photographers did in the dark room with dust and burn <laughs> now we give it we take a smaller one Twenty is and we go down to the claws because they are very dramatic. So we want to emphasize those. But be careful not too much. don't want it to look too retouched see there are some more spots down here I want to get to disappear and we take the dots tool again we give it highlight here. Give it the Holy. see before and after before and after huh? then there is a big problem with this picture that is this part of the picture up here is very noisy visually uh, and we don't have uh, I want his eyes and this part of him, him to be more catching so 
so I will load this and I hear can I add mass tessellation and I will go over here and I will reverse select and worse and I will make a new layer duplicate layer you okay to that and I will give it a little blur filter blur and a Gaussian blur And I think I will be okay. Or should we give it six? We'll do that. Okay. And we will make a mask to that. And we will take our this one and we will we will I'll make it a little sharper so you see what I'm doing. A little bigger so you can see what I'm doing. <coughs> So uh, not as good as that. one is too big and then I add and subtract for them from the mask. I I use a shortcut X to change. Now I'm adding to the mask, and now I'm sub subtracting from the mask. This is much better. Let's see. Yes. <coughs> and we will so you can see the difference. I'm trying to do this. This, this, and this. We can we'll merge uh, layer. Where is layer? There is layer. Merge visible. We'll put all the layers together. 
now you can see for and out for and out we make a new layer okay I think it's little the darkening up here I don't like so I will lighten that up a little with the big brush bigger biggest and a mid tone tool make it a little bit bigger yes and we will take an area from here out collect this around here and we will make this disappear and this and we will take an area from here and there's something and I want this to disappear and I want this to disappear now <coughs> we will make duplicate layer yes and we will go here And we will go to the final details. I think we will go down. And oh, maybe twenty. Yes. Yeah. Oh, highlight. And we will write ten. Come on. See? A little more dynamic. Midterms.
maybe that was too much yes and midterm light coming down from the surface to this side and as it, it gives it a little more shape and we oh, highlight and go up a bit and we make it a little bigger you help to show the shape layer and look. the eyes are always very important and first we do this and here it was whoops a big one and we I think a 10 whoops too big five And it gives a lot. <coughs> Sorry. Mid tone. I want the eyes to be much clearer. Now we leading up to the high. Oops, sorry. Uh, you want to burn a little bit. frame the eye
it is uh, exactly the same way you would do if he was painting. He's looking, and that's what we want. And, oops, too small, too big. to get a little more drama down here. But you can go on for hours with this if you want. I want to give this a little more, little more. And so that you better can see, we will do this layer. Night no, cancel. Sorry, it's a layer merge visible. See? Before we started. Now, this was how, how I was doing it, so thank you for watching. <laughs>